and welcome to my channel. This is Joy from She Speaks Too. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. Press that subscribe button right now. If you are new to my channel, then you know that I do all things Liberia. Um, I try to keep it positive, try to have fun. There was a series on Netflix that I just watched. I binge watched the other day. It's called Young, Famous, and African. It should be called Young, Rich, and African. Um, it was so good that I decided that I may want to do a review. Now, if you're new to my channel, you'll know that I started out doing reviews, um, a show called I May Destroy You. And then when I went to Liberia, I started doing all things Liberia. Well, this is an African show. It's not It's not Liberian but I thought it was worth us diving in and talking about. So I'm going to start reviewing this show. I'm going to commit because sometimes I try to do something and I don't follow through. I'm going to commit to reviewing all the episodes. This will be my review of season one, episode one of Young, Famous, and African. It may have a little sprinkle of Liberian perspective here and there because I am Liberian. So of course that's my frame of reference, but here goes. So the episode, I got my notes here so I can know everything. The episode um, starts with Kenyi Bao, and she is basically basically the narrator. I believe that she probably is the one that pitched this show because she is like the, the central part, the focal part of this show. She starts out by saying that um, the internet trolls have labeled her a gold digger. It turns out that her child's father at the time, her daughter is 15, her child's father is was 31 years older than her. So she may have been a gold digger. Anyway, so she has a 15-year-old. The 15-year-old lives in an apartment by herself, but that's a whole nother story. We're going to talk about that. So it starts out with Kenya Bao talking about her life. She's talking about how Africa is seen as a third world. Um, South Africa is a third world nation, but in reality, it's a first world nation. So they, so they show us parts of South Africa, and this is an Africa that I am not, I mean, Liberia is somewhat developed, but this is an Africa that I am not accustomed to. I would love to, now I would love to visit South Africa. And they come with Diamond Platinums. If you don't know Diamond Platinums, the famous song that I know from him is the song from Neo. I want to marry you, na, 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 I want to marry you. <laughs> so that is the famous song that I know from him. So Diamond Platinums, he's actually from Tanzania. Then they show this guy called the Naked DJ. I don't know him. Naked DJ is 40. He has a 28-year-old girlfriend who um, a lot of people believe is just with him for the money, that she probably is not attracted to him. So we got Naked DJ. We got Zari. Is that Zari? Zari, who says that a lot of people are intimidated by her. And Zari also actually has two children by Diamond Platinum. So she lives in South Africa. She has two children by Diamond Platinum. They didn't show her this um, episode except for showing us her uh, intro. Then we got Swanky J Swank Jerry, or Swanky Jerry, who's a stylist. He's from Nigeria. I'm going to bring that fact up that he's from Nigeria again. Then we have... And Dele, who is very well dressed, I think Andele is from South Africa. Andele. Then we have Nadia. Nadia is a rapper. She is first generation. Um, she's first generation South African. Her parents are from Zimbabwe. Then we have Annie. Annie is from Nigeria, West Africa. Stand up. You can't do an African show without West African energy. We come with the energy. So Swanky Jerry and Annie are both South African. Annie is actually married to Two-Face who's saying, you are my African queen, the girl of my dreams. Yeah, so that is her husband and Annie has quite a story, guys. We'll get into that later. So Kanye, Kanye, who is the central part of this show, says that um, she wakes up. She does not wake up to alarm systems or her phone alarm. She wakes up to someone playing the piano to wake her up. I think that is not true. I think I, I think a lot of this show is fabricated in order to show them, show us how rich they are. So in order to like, to show us how rich they are, they are doing too much. Nobody wakes up to someone coming in their room. Maybe rich people do. I don't know. I don't. I know I've seen it in Liberia. Nobody wake up to someone coming in their room and playing the piano for them to wake up. She says she can't alarm. It's too violent. You know, it's too violent. So anyway, we wake. She wakes up to someone playing the piano. Her and her boyfriend are in bed. Turns out her boyfriend 
has a scandalous past with money. Maybe he's a scammer or was perceived to be a scammer. And she said that her child's father also had a past like that. So maybe she's attracted to bad boys. And she you knows she said that with a laugh. Ha ha. Okay. They show um, Annie and Jerry. Um, I think Annie is arriving in South Africa and they're in the taxi and Annie and Jerry are Nigerian. They come with that big Nigerian energy. They're laughing because they're talking about how in South Africa they pronounce their words very harsh. Like every word is, where are you going? You know, so Jerry was doing his impersonation, which is true because I follow a South African vlogger here on YouTube, Owami, who I love. Um, I don't know why I follow her. I'm not from South Africa, but I just love her spirit. But anyway, um, she talks like that and I love how she talks and she actually rolls her R's. So it's, it's, I don't know how to roll my R's, but I love how they talk. So Annie and Jerry are talking about South Africa. Annie has left her two children in Nigeria because she's come to expand her empire. Remember, she's married to Two-Face, the, the, the uh, musician, not the magician, the musician. And um, she's, you know, missing her children. They go and she calls her daughter. Her daughter has some kind of disease called Blunt's disease. And she said without the surgeries, her daughter's arms would be like that. Um, and this is the first birthday that her daughter has. I think her daughter is seven where she's able to walk because she's had six surgeries. Annie calls her daughter. Her daughter's like, mommy, are you happy? And Annie, you know, she's trying to hold back her tears because she says she should be asking her daughter if she's happy and yet her daughter's worried about her. So you can tell Annie is a good mother. Annie has been through a lot, people. Two fists, not put Annie through a lot. Huh? We can't be talk about it. We can't be talk about it. So we have Annie. Then we have Kanye. Kanye is throwing a ball. She said this ball is going to be over the top. It's going to be this. Nadia, the rapper, comes to meet Kanye. Um, they're drinking. They're having fun. They're talking. You know how the ball is going to be. Turns out Nadia is dating a guy, something Menza. He is from Ghana, but he's been with a lot of rappers in the U.S., so he's well known. She's dating him. She's been taking pictures. And so she told um, Kanye, was like, is that your boyfriend? She's like, yes, we're dating. So, you know, they talk a little bit about that. Diamond Platinum comes. He's picked up um, from the private jet area with um, Kanye, I think, picks him up. I feel like that private jet area, I'm not saying that Diamond, Diamond Platinum doesn't have enough money to fly private, but I feel like it was too staged. It was like the red carpet. Nobody was there. It's just him walking. Um, and then Kanye is there to pick him up. I just feel like maybe maybe it's just for production purposes, but I felt like it was a little stage. And in the um, in the upcoming episode, Annie will become Annie's children will come from that same place, and it looks like they just use that as a prop. Like I said, they're trying to reinforce or reemphasize how rich these people are, but I feel like they're doing too much. We understand that they're rich, we understand that they have money, but it's like they want us, they want to ingrain it into us that these people are rich. So it's like that place is a prop place where they just have a, a, a plane and red carpet, then you just walk and they take the, the, the film and act like that's where he came from. Not to say Diamond Platinum cannot arrive private jet before anybody come text me or message me and say Diamond got money. I believe Diamond got money. His name is Diamond. I have a little fluff scene of um, naked DJ and his girlfriend. Um, I think her name is Kaylee or Kylie. They're saying that Kaylee, they're saying that how she's saying how he's so unromantic, he's awkward, and Andile comes and visits them. And as Kaylee walks by, and Dile looks, and then um Nick and DJ say, You just had a look, huh? And he said, No, 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 you know, it's so it's just a little funny scene. Nothing too much about that. So they have the ball. Everyone's walking the red car. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Nadia met with um Swanky Jerry and Annie. And um um, Annie says she could feel that Nadia's energy was good, was genuine, blah, 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 blah. Nadia, on the other hand, felt like Annie was holding back. There's more to what you see on the surface. And I feel that too, because Annie seemed quiet, um, you know, reserved, but then we see Annie at the ball. So they go to the ball. Kanye gives a speech about how we, we have the same bank account. We have the same this. We have the same that. Um, we have a lot in common. Look, Diamond Platinum even came on a private jet. So I feel like there's Kanye is the superficial, su very superficial, very into what you have. And so Annie is looking around. She's like, this is supposed to be bling bling. You know, Nigerians, when you say bling bling to Nigerians, um, they expect more. So Annie was not impressed. She said the champagne was flat. She said the food was not good. It was like 
um, the food wasn't even cooked. The steak wasn't cooked good. So Annie is just throwing shade, talking to Nadia. And Nadia was like, that's what I'm talking about. So um, Kanye comes to the table. They start talking. And it turns out Kanye brings up the fact that her daughter is 15 and her daughter lives alone in an apartment. And Annie just was shot because I believe in my heart that Annie is a good mother. And Andele was shot. He was like, your daughter lives alone at 15? And she said, yeah, she's free to make her own mistakes. She's free to make her own choices, whether right or wrong. And her virginity can be taken or stolen. Something stupid she said. And Annie was like, she's not equipped to make those kind of decisions. And Annie and Dele were genuinely concerned. It seemed like Kanye... You know what? I'm going to put a picture of Kanye up to tell you what she looked like before and after. I'm going to put it up so y'all can see what she looked like because this is a complete transformation. Any woman that can change her skin and her looks to that effect, I don't trust you. You got something up your sleeve. So anyway, I'll put that picture up right now. But anyway, so Annie and Andele, Andele were genuinely concerned. Like this 15-year-old girl is living on her own. You have a boyfriend. You're living this extravagant life. We all know who we were at 15. We weren't equipped to make choices, decisions. 15 years old, give me a break. And I've seen a picture of her daughter. I'll put that up. I'll put a picture of her daughter up too. But um, her daughter is beautiful. 15 years old, we need guidance. We need a mother. And you're alive. It's not like you're somewhere else. You have the means to take care of her. Take care of her. So because of that conversation, and Dele and Annie go off to talk, um, and they're talking, and um, Annie's talking about her life, her husband. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy being married to a, a Nigerian musician. Uh, I'm just going to stereotype all West African men. We know what y'all how y'all do. We know how y'all do. Faithfulness is not on the top of your priority. Don't argue with me. Argue with your mom because I'm true. So basically, then Kanye joins them and sits in the middle. She said, this is my ball. So since it's my ball, I can, you know, be butt into anybody's conversation. So Annie says... Her, she has two kids with her husband. Her husband have, has five kids with other women. Um, her first child is his fifth. So they were together while this man had four children. Then she had the fifth child, which is her first child with him. Then he had another child after that because he has five children with five different women. So, and she says she's been through a lot, but she said a lot of this is a story for another time. So then Diamond Platinum is is he likes Nadia. He he serenades her some song. He said, I'm in love, I'm in love with you. And so he serenades her. Instead of her saying she got a boyfriend, you know, I have a boyfriend, but he he's uh it's long distance. When you have a boyfriend, you don't have a boyfriend, you don't have a boyfriend, but you don't have to say I have a husband, but he lives out of the country. So what does that mean? It turn if you're trying to say I'm I'm available. So anyway, he's pursuing her. She says she wants to get to know him better. So that, my friends, is the end of the ball. My little synopsis of this um, show is we're introduced to the guests. We get to see that Kanye is a little superficial. Um, not a little. She said men are here to protect and serve. Um, protect me from having to pay for things. Serve me by giving me things. So that's her definition, protect and serve. We know that Annie, poor thing. Um, and I think Annie is beautiful, beautiful chocolate skin, beautiful woman. Um, she, poor thing, she's been through a lot, married to this musician. She has two children. She's left them in Nigeria to pursue her empire. We have Diamond Platinums, who he led woman business. He said he yet he just yet to hunt. Um, we have Nadia, who is a rapper. I, I love her energy. I think she's a good person. I like her laugh, everything. Um, we have Andile. I haven't figured out Andile yet. He seems very reserved. Annie was very impressed with how he was dressed. We have Swinky Jerry. Swinky Jerry is a stylist. He's over the top. He dresses over the top. I do believe that he dresses um, Annie because of how Annie dresses in her confessional look. We have Nikki DJ. I got nothing to say about naked DJ. He naked, he a DJ. Uh, let me see who else. Um, we have Zari, um, who they haven't shown yet. Zari has two kids with, um, with what it boy named Diamond Platinums. And I think that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. We're going to get to know these characters a little bit more. We're going to get to know a part of a, a vision of Africa. We don't see every day a very developed South Africa. It makes me want to visit. 
um, visited people at Big Yo-Yo, please watch this review. Um, invite me to South Africa and I'm talking to the cast of the show. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this review. This is a Joy from She Speaks 2. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. And I will see you later.